Alrighty, here we have Alien Cat 2 being played on the uh, CGS Mega Drive. Um, this is a demo of the revamped version of the game. Um, thank you to uh, PSCD Games for um, putting this on my radar here. Uh, so this is a revamp of the original release. The original release um, got some, some heavy backlash um, since they uh, went ahead and announced and showed off their uh, uh, Nintendo port of the game that looked superior uh, to this one. Uh, so they decided to go ahead and re-release it. Um, so they've updated the graphics, they've updated the music. Um, everything has had a complete overhaul. So for those that have been playing on this on the Evercade, because uh, it's available there, uh, may notice this looks a little bit different, and that's because it is. Um, it's going to be completely overhauled, and I think it looks like a better game, and it feels like a better game. Uh, if there's never played this game, this is a puzzle game where you play as an alien cat that has to traverse um, these uh, puzzle-like rooms, avoiding obstacles and collecting keys, and eventually getting the portal to collect uh, ship parts for your ship and leave the planet that you're stranded on. And in the course of the gameplay, you're going to run into clones. So you're going to clone yourself, and you'll have to end up controlling each clone. Um, and each clone will mirror itself. So it makes for a pretty interesting and challenging gameplay. So it starts out with one, and then it'll move you to two, three, so on and so forth. And it gets pretty crazy. So there's your ship, you're slowly collecting parts for it. Um, this game, as well as this the, this this port, this demo, as well as the original or the uh, SNES demo, I believe has six levels to it. Um, but yeah, see here's here's the clone portion of this, and I'm going to need to. I need that switch, but I'm not gonna be able to. Oh, then I just hit a spike. Do this here. Let's just do it this way. Let's see if that's enough. Hit the. Yep. Okay. Good. That was enough to hit the hit the button. You can meet them together and go to the portal. It's a pretty cool game. I like the fact that it was completely overhauled. Again, I played the Evercade version. I have the Indie Heroes collection. This is on. And this play is so much better. Um, there's a Kickstarter to uh, back both the Sega Mega Drive version, or Genesis version, and the Nintendo version. Um, and I believe you can pick one or the other, or both, if you want to pick them up, pick up both of them. Um, it's pretty cool that they, they give you the option. Um, and I'd highly recommend checking it out, you guys. This game is just its an amazing game on either platform. Although there are some differences. Uh, and I will cover this Nintendo version as well here uh, in a different video. So, uh, do be looking for that as it will be coming in the future. Okay, so I need to push... Well, that was that was silly. I should not have done that because now I don't think. <laughs> nope, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to hopefully maybe. Nope, I did that wrong. So I definitely definitely a cool puzzle game, you guys. This game's pretty fun. Like I said, um, it's a great game on either platform. You want to pick it up on. And like I said, the Super version is different than this one. And again, we'll be covering that in a different video. It's just for the Sega Genesis Mega Drive version of the game. Again, a really great game um, when it was released, I thought. Um, and even better now that it's been completely revamped and overhauled. So, uh, kudos to uh, 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 PSCD Games for... Uh, making the changes uh, to the game 
um, and listen to the the fans. Though I will say they they did <laughs> uh, the fans kind of came at him pretty hard, um, saying that the uh, Genesis version was was uh, you know they didn't care about it um, because of this, how much superior the Nintendo version was. And I don't think it's fair. Um, I really don't think that's fair at all. I think both versions are great in their own right. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, I like the fact that they went ahead and revamped this. I really do. But it wasn't necessary at the same time. It was not something that ne- needed to be done. But at the same time, I'm glad they did it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end the coverage here of this amazing demo. If you want to pick it up for yourself, um, I will leave a link to the Kickstarter in the description down below. Um, again, this is for the uh, Mega Drive and uh, some other versions of the game. So, um, yeah, uh, I, that'll do it here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.